Hi, this is just a quick video of um, how to draw simple ray diagrams in GeoGebra. Um, I'm just going to be using these tools here along the top, which are dead easy to use but really powerful. first tool we need is uh, the ellipse tool, so I'll select that. If I click here and here, I'll show you about there, and then for a point there, it creates a nice ellipse for me. If you right click on any object, and you can go to its properties. and um, I just want to change its color and make it fill it in a little bit. So there you go, there's our lens. Um, next tool we need is the new point tool, so I'll select that and I just want to point roughly about there, one right in the middle, and one it has to be make sure it's on the um x axis. Roughly about there. And then um if I right click on this last one and go to its properties, I'm gonna make it across make it red and change its name to focus um, next step is to get the perpendicular line tool if I click on a point on this point D and then the x-axis it drops the line straight down and I'll do the same with the y-axis so we've got a line going straight across next tool we need is the intersection tool that just allows me to, if I click on this line here and the y-axis, it creates a point where they cross, and I'll do the same down here, this line and the x-axis. Um, next tool we need is um, the vector between two points, or the arrow tool. Um, I just want to draw an arrow between these two points here. And then if I right-click on this line and untick show object, it gets rid of it and cleans things up a little bit. And now we've got uh, our objects here. And it's all dynamic, so we can move it all about. And uh, now we need to find out where our image is going to be. Uh, to do that, we get the uh, line tool between two points. And um, this is a conversion lens, so this parallel ray here coming from the top of the object is going to be bent down through the focus, like that. And then uh, another rule of lenses is that if a stri any straight line going through the the centre of uh, the lens carries on going straight and then our object is going to be formed where these two rays cross so if I select the uh, intersection point tool again find the intersection point that, well, those two lines drop a line down to the x-axis need another X intersection point here and that allows me to draw the arrow for um, for our image. And that's it. So if I move this solve about, you can see it's all working nicely. Um, I can make it look a bit nicer by um, right click on, on these vectors. Uh, if, we, if you hold down shift, you can select two things at once and I want to make both of these blue and make them a bit far. Like that. And then uh, these lines here, I'm going to select all of these and make them orange. There goes. That's a bit clearer. And then uh, we don't need these um, intersection points, so we can either go round, right-click on them, or you can just come out, go over here, and uh, if you click the circles next to the letters, you can get rid of them. That's a bit quicker. Uh, and if you get rid of hide something by mistake, you can get, for example, that that line. You can get it back just by clicking again. And that's it. And it. See if you go too close to the lens, you get a virtual image, like a magnifying glass. And you can also um, pull the focus across like that, and then it's um, a diverging lens. But obviously, you need to change this the shape here. Um, that's it. You can um, clean up these lines and things, but it takes a little bit more effort. I'll put some a link in the details to the uh, GeoGebra wiki, and you can have a look at that and have a play, and figure out if you're interested.